Good day. Um, today we're going to do lesson plan number 18, grade 2, term 2. Um, the topic is addition and subtraction, and it's doubles and near doubles up to 50. Uh, this also link to worksheet 45, 46 to 48 in the DBE workbook. So i quickly going to show you. So we've got some double work there. Our number lines. Um, we've got more double work. Um, using number lines again. Bigger numbers. Um, then we're going to double up. Um, then we're going to use larger numbers. And then we're going to double. So you can see everything is on the concrete and the representative level. So that's up to date. Let's quickly go back to the lesson plan. Um, so those worksheets help you uh, with revising the concepts um, and to help you to do and complete this lesson. So let's quickly look at the link to the caps. You can pause and have a look at this. Then we're going to pause here at the resources and dictionary. So um, you're going to prepare and plan your resources and then you're going to go through your dictionary words. Then um, I want you to pause here at the daily routine, counting and mental mathematics. So the daily routine, you're going to ask those questions. Then we're going to count, do the counting activity. Um, here again is what we're going to count. Remember again um, to start off with physical resources. Um, then you can use the representative level of resources that's available on our counting library at the SA Teacher eStore. Um, so we're going to give them, after they count it, we're going to give them a number. If we count in tens, we're going to give them, ask them to stop, for instance, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then we ask them what number is one more or one less. Remember, one more when we count in ones and one less when we count in ones. So I want you always to remember the steps where we use physical resources, representative level, pictures or make a picture. Then we do the counting rhyme and then we ask questions. This is all to put counting and number work in context. I want you to pause and do the counting activity. Welcome back to the mental mathematics. So the mental mathematics, you've got 10 questions. It's quick subtraction. So you can ask it orally. They need to write down the answer. Um, you can pause. Um, you can come back. You can mark it. So with the next activity, uh, what we're going to do is we go to double and near doubles. Now, um, a lot of us do understand what's doubling, but what does near doubles mean? So doubling, what I want you to do is I want you the best always to do here is to use unifix blocks. Um, but if you don't have that, um, you can make a drawing of these, cut it out, or every time just make a drawing. But let the child see it um using concrete resources or on the represented level. So if we got 10 and we're going to double it, how much will we have? So it means that we're going to say 10 plus 10. Uh, make sure the learner understands or the child understands the word double. It might be easy for us, but it's not always as easy for them. Then we're going to ask them, the next step is you can first ask 15 and double 15. So what I did here is I've got some red unifix blocks and blue unifix blocks. Um, again, is you can enlarge this picture and you can ask them by looking at this. Um, ask first, just to show the 15. I know there's 16 on this side. So what's double 15? So it's a 10 and a 10. It's 20 and a 5 and a 5 is a 10. So 20 plus 5 is 30. But what's going to happen if we got 15 plus 60? So this is near doubles. So what we're going to say is we're going to take off the 1 from the 16 and place it on the one side. So we have the same type of, I always say, the same type of towers. We've got a 
tall tower and we've got a shorter tower, but they're exactly the same. They're only different color. So what we say is, we say 10 plus 10, 5 plus 5 is 30 like we did here, plus the 1, it's 31. Remember, we do these type of activities and let them see it because we're going to use this later on in mental maths calculations. So then what we can do is you can make a drawing, just a quick drawing on the board or on a piece of paper to say 15 plus 16. What we see here means the same as what we see here. So I want you to pause and do similar activities. Remember, if your child is not yet ready to do 15 plus 16, only do a few activities where they just simply double the number. So I want you to pause and do this. Okay, welcome back. So um, in the previous activity, we added near doubles. Um, you will see a lot of times in these blue blocks with the introductions, um, I sometimes first challenge the child. Um, remember, a challenging activity might be fun for the child as well. It also depends on how you present it to them. Um, so let's go then and we go one step back. So what we're first going to do is we're going to ask them to say 12 plus 12. Um, if I say 12 plus 12, how can I say it in a different way? And they then say double 12. 13 plus 13, double 13. 14 plus 14, double 14. A lot of times in schools or at home, we just say double 12. And they don't understand the word double. So what we do now is we give them the number sentence and they need to change it then into words. So here again is you can look at these examples. We've got 12 and 12. Um, if we add it together, what we have is we've got a 10, a 10, and a 4. So it's 24. Here on this side is what we got near doubles. What we say is we got 12 plus 13. So what we have is we got 12 plus 12 plus 1, and we got 25. I want you to pause here, look at these examples, and then what I want you to do is to go through it step by step. Again, is if you don't have resources, always make drawings. Um, it's also very nice if you have a little quad book, um, a book with blocks, um, where you can easily draw these. Remember, we always want to work in tens and units, so the child can get ready and we can get them ready to understand the decimal system very well. So pause, and it's time to do the activity. Um, here then, you've got 15 plus 15. You can do this top one as well. You can pause and do that before we carry on with the next activity. Okay, welcome back. So now the ac next activity, um, we're going to, we can show them again 12 plus 12 and 13 plus 13. Uh, but now what if the second number is less? So what we're going to do is we, in our heads, we say 12 plus 12 is 24. So we can demonstrate it here again. But what we do now is we just take one block away and we get 23. So demonstrate it and then we take away. So what they say is we say 12 plus 12 equals 24 minus 1. Well, then give me 12 plus 11 equals 23. I want you to pause here. Let me just scroll up so you can see all of them. And I want you to do these four activities. Keep it as practical as possible. Okay, so we're going to carry on. So with our different levels, um, I just repeat what I've done already um, using the base 10 blocks. So now what you're going to do is every time when you show it with the base 10 blocks, you're going to show it with the flood or the place value cards as well. So you can pause here and what you're going to do is you just go step by step. But every time when they place down the unifix blocks, they need to place down the cards as well. 
and then show the calculations. Very important is how can I write it as a number sentence? So here we got 24 plus 25. So we're going to first look at what's the doubles of that. So we're going to say 24 plus 24 or double 24 plus 1. How can I write it? I say 24 plus 24 plus 1. And lastly, how do I write it then in words? It's double 24 plus 1. So often what we do is we just ask the learner double 24 and later on double 24 plus 1, but we don't let them do the practical work first. It's all to do with the understanding of this word double. Then you can do the problem solving. Um, the problem solving again is um, on level one is use your concrete resources. Um, you can do these two steps at the same time um, where you use the concrete resources and place value cards um, or you can solve the problem on an abstract level. So let's go to the worksheet. So you have the worksheet here um, or what we have done in the lesson and then the problem solving here again is a problem. You can also, we already done and we had to look at levels one, two, three. Um, and then we're going to come to the consolidation. If you've got all yeses, we carry on to the next lesson. If you've got some no's, um, you're going to revise, revisit certain sections or questions or activities. Um, or you can contact us at SA Teacher. Mm -hmm.